Hey YouTube, Sam here. I'm at replacing the exhaust gaskets in my truck here. As you can see, they're pretty well shot. Especially that one. So it's supposed to look like that. Anyhow, I kept my old ones though, so I could make sure when I got the parts that uh, they were right. So that's something. Never throw away the old stuff till you got the new stuff in hand and you know it's exactly what you need. Uh, on this 98 GMC Sierra, the part number for the gasket that goes between the exhaust manifold and the pipes is EG24317 and there's an FP61012 on there too, see if I can get a close up look. I think that's just a barcode there, so I'm not going to read that one out. Anyway, it comes in a package like that. The part, I believe this is, I guess you'd say it goes between the catalytic converter and the pipes that go up to the exhaust manifold. It's kind of hard to explain. I'll show you when we get underneath there. But the part number for that is G1012, and there's no FP number on that one. So there's kind of what it looks like and it is for the 98 GMC Sierra 1 ton 454 I would assume it would probably work with all the 454s but I can't tell you for sure but we'll get underneath there and I'll show you what it's all about and of course anytime you're getting under a rig and you're jacking it up you want to use jack stands appropriate for the weight of your rig and also some people with these kind of jacks that uh, hoists that kind of lift the whole front end or whole back end or whole side whatever you got if you got one on a garage sale and didn't get any instructions or the instructions that came with yours were junk um, before lifting you actually want to put that's why the lights are on you want to put the truck into neutral so that as you're lifting the back tires can actually roll towards you otherwise this jack although it does have wheels down there they're not on the front. It will actually tip the jack forward if you do not put it in neutral and it can actually kick the jack out on you. So you want to be real careful about that. Also once you're done put it in back in park and put one of those behind the back tire. Real cheap at Harbor Freight. Work real well. Uh, anyway and then obviously you got to put it back into neutral to bring it back down or it can actually fall backwards on you. So there are some steps in using jacks like these. Um, just be careful. Alright, here we are underneath, right below the uh, exhaust manifold that comes off the motor here. And all it is on these, there is three bolts, 15 millimeter bolts. Pop that one. Oop. And you got another one, which you probably can't see yet, on this side, right there. And then you're going to come back towards the back of your truck and right behind this cross member here, this transmission cross member, there is this, which is actually, it looks like there's a catalytic converter in front of it and a catalytic converter behind it. Um, anyways, there is right behind this one is another exhaust gasket that goes right in here and those head on back to the other uh, catalytic converter and then on back to the two into one muffler anyway so those this gasket and the two up front are what I'm replacing right now um, it was actually really easy you wanna loosen all these also 15 millimeter um, but this, undo the ones up front up there and this whole thing is one complete pulls kind of down and forward and that pops those out of there so when I'm done with that I'll get back well, hopefully you can see this and this is the gasket you want to put on first the one that goes behind this first catalytic converter uh, so we'll get that one on there because I split this apart and then you're going to want to put the other ones on in the front uh, I thought since I was under here I'd throw one of these in for you so you know because they have a kind of a flange on one side and then it's rounded on the other. The actual flat flange goes pointing up into the actual 
exhaust manifold which kind of makes it difficult because if you're not careful it will fall right out of there but then that is going to go up on there like that you take this flange put it up on there put your bolts in and you'll have her all buttoned up all right it's the moment of truth here we'll uh, start her up see if she's a lot quieter Unfortunately, it's kind of pathetically quiet, so we'll deal with that at some other point in time. Alright, this is Sam, Jack of All, Master of None. Y'all have a good one.